So you're thinking about moving to Texas, but there has been one glaring problem that has been holding you back, and that's property taxes. Property taxes suck in Texas, and it has homeowners feeling a little bit cheated, including myself. Now with nearly 60% of properties being overassessed, there has been countless people paying way more money than they have to. And with Texas soon to be enacted property tax relief bill, knowing how much you're paying has become more important than ever, and you don't want to be left hanging. The good news is, is you can do something about it, and we are going to give you the five action steps that you can take. But first, let's talk about what property taxes are and how they're being assessed. Now every single year, your property is assessed, and what will happen Happen is the county appraisal district will look at your property and determine how it's going to be taxed. Now, how do they do that? They send a qualified appraiser uh, to take a look at your property very closely. They'll factor in size, location, condition, market trends to try to determine that value. And who is that for? Well, it's for the county to determine how much tax you're gonna pay on that property. Now, this is your property tax. So you have your assessed value, and then what happens? Well, this is where the county is going to determine how much you will be paying based on various taxing entities. You have counties, cities, school districts, hospitals, and colleges that all classify as taxing entities in this case. Now, each of these entities has a tax rate. So for example, let's say you live in Frisco, Texas. The taxing entities that you would be accountable to pay your property taxes are going to to be Collin County, Frisco, and Frisco ISD. Simply multiply your assessed value by the tax rates of the entities and you will get your yearly property tax amount. By the way, my name is Levi and we get contacted every single day from people just like you moving to Dallas, Texas. And if you wanna be the first to know about the Dallas market, this is your channel. So reach out whenever you're ready to make a smooth move to Dallas. So now that you know how property taxes work, would it surprise you to know that you are most likely overpaying on yours? So how's that even possible? Aren't these qualified assessors supposed to make sure that that isn't the case? Well, yes and no, but as it happens, you have to be responsible for your own property. There's plenty of results of overassessment. Now, there are a couple of ways that this can happen. First of all, inaccurate data. These appraisers rely on data such as property dimensions, square footage, and a number of rooms to determine the value. And this information is incorrect and outdated, then it will throw their assessment completely off. Then you have lack of familiarity. So appraisers may not be familiar with the specific neighborhoods or local market conditions. Now that also leads to inaccurate assessments. Number three, you think about the timing of the assessment. Property values can fluctuate over time, especially with seasonalities. And your assessment was conducted during a period of high property values. It may not reflect the current market reality. And then number four, subjectivity. Now appraisers involve a certain degree of subjectivity and different appraisers may have different opinions on the value of a property leading to inconsistencies and potential over assessments. Now you put all these factors together and you may have a wildly different home value than what the truth is. And if it is higher, then you're going to be taxed more. And that's not even your fault. So what can you do about it? The truth is, is you're probably spending money that you don't have to. And in fact, the odds say that you are, but you can put a stop to this. And if you suspect that you have have been paying too much property tax and you've been over assessed, there's a couple of steps we're going to share with you that you can fight this and lower your property tax bill, potentially. So number one, you're going to want to review your assessment. Obtain a copy of your property assessment from the local tax assessor's office, carefully review the details, and this includes your property dimensions, your square footage, any discrepancies that may affect the value. Number two, you wanna gather evidence. Now make sure you collect the evidence to support your claim of the assessment. So that way you can look at recent sales data, comparable data, if you just bought the house, maybe the CMA from your real estate agent, well, of course that would be us, and any other information that you have that can prove the point. Number three, you've gotta file an appeal. So contact your local tax assessor's office and inquire about the appeals process and they can give you specific deadlines for filing that appeal. Now follow the instructions provided to submit your appeal along with the supporting evidence. Number four is you can attend a hearing. Now in some cases, the appeal may involve a formal hearing where you can present your case to a review board. Number five, you can seek professional assistance. Now if you're unsure about navigating the appeals process or want expert advice, consider hiring somebody that specializes in this. There's plenty of companies out there. We have one in the description below that you could possibly bring on to help you fight your tax assessment. Now, why is this so important? Because if your property is over assessed, you could potentially miss out on the largest property tax cut in the history of Texas. And property taxes will be substantially lower for Texas residents. They're about to go down, way down. Now the Texas House has voted approval of the bill that could reduce property taxes by up to 40% for Texas homeowners. Now in simple terms, the package main focus is to increase the homestead exemption in the state. The homestead exemption is the portion of the house of the home's value that is not subject to property taxes used to fund public schools. And currently this exemption is set at $40,000 in Texas. However, the package aims to bring this up to $100,000. Now before this bill can go into effect, the people of Texas will have to vote. And on November 7th, there will 
will be an election to determine whether or not this bill goes into place. Now, if approved, this bill will apply to the 2023 tax bills that are due in January. Now, let's look at a couple of scenarios for homeowners and business owners. So scenario one, you have a residential homeowner. So what does that look like for you? Now, with the decrease in tax rate for school districts, let's take a look at how this would impact the homeowner. Now, the current ISD tax rate home value is around 388639 now you minus that 40,000 for the state exemption, you have the ISD discount of 38,864, the taxable value around 309,000. You multiply that by the tax rate and the tax due is around $3,600. The proposed plan will change things. So let's say we have the exact same house, but this time the proposed exemption is about $100,000 in its place. This brings the taxable value down to 249,000. And when we take into account the decreased tax rate of 0.97, we end up with 2,000 and $423 in property taxes. Now that's a difference of about $1,200. And that's over $100 a month in savings just from the school district taxes. Then you have a second scenario for business owners. Now small business owners and investors that are also getting a pretty good deal on this. Now the bill would also provide relief to commercial and rental property owners within the properties valued that are below $5 million. Now appraisal districts will not be allowed to increase the taxable value of those properties by more than 20% for the next three years. So let's say there's a business owner Owner who owns an office building in a pretty good location. Now his office value went up by 18% in 2022 compared to the year before, and then it shot up by 48% from 2022 to 2023. And since 2019, the worth of that office building has doubled. Now today his office, let's say is worth $638,000. Now because it's less than 5 million, he would hit that appraisal cap. Now this rule would lower the value they consider for his office as any other property that increases in value by over 20%. Now it will not be subject to pay the property taxes on the exceeding amount. So this year you would not have to pay property taxes on 123,000 in property value. But if a property doesn't get more than 20% more valuable in the year, then this rule really doesn't make a difference. And as you can see, pretty much anyone is going to see the benefits of this. Is there anything else in the bill? As a matter of fact, there is. Now this is a massive bill and another proposed change involves the inclusion of three positions of each appraisal district's board of directors, which will be elected by a majority vote during county general elections and serve for your terms. Now this is good news because now those elected to oversee the appraisals in a county will take on more accountability, leaving more power to the people. So if we recap the property taxes, it could be a significant financial burden to homeowners, and it's disheartening to think that many are overpaying due to overassessments. Now, by understanding the assessment process and carefully reviewing your property and the assessment, you can appeal this and fight this every single year, or you can sub this out to a professional to help you out. Now, with the new Texas legislation slicing property taxes, your home's assessment is more important than ever, and you don't want to be left hanging, and you could miss out. And if you want to know why every Everybody is moving to Dallas make sure you check out this video and until next time we hope to show you around town look there's more to Texas than just being the greatest state in the United States and we're gonna cover the 10 reasons why people are making the move here and I've lived in Texas practically my whole life although I have made some detours throughout my uh, career which I have lived in